Hello microbe hunters, Oliver is here and uh, maybe you can see that there is quite a bit of dirt, dust and dirt um, in the corner over there and there's also a small spider's web there all covered in dust uh, and uh, what I want to do today is I want to figure out what is the thickness uh, of one thread of the spider's silk and of course I'm going to be using my microscope uh, to find it out. So let's get started. Well, I think I haven't cleaned this place for at least two years. I've simply forgotten about it. But that's a good thing, actually, because it's now the habitat of a spider. And this spider uh, made this little cobweb. And now I would like to put it under the microscope to determine how thick the web actually is. Well, actually not the web, but the individual uh, fibers, the silk fibers. And here it is. Of course, it goes under the microscope. And I was about to measure out the thickness. And then I discovered it's a total mess. Look at this. Um, I could not distinguish uh, the spider's uh, silk uh, from the dust. Um, there are so many textile fibers from clothing. Um, I have no idea what I'm seeing here. Um, in any case, um, it's impossible to make any proper measurements. I don't even know uh, where the spider's silk is. So I decided uh, it's not gonna work. Okay. Well, this was almost uh, a complete fail. Why am I saying almost? It was a complete fail. Um, so for this reason, I was looking for a fresh spider's web, uh, one that is not covered uh, in dust. And on my window, I actually was very successful. And unfortunately, the spider had to sacrifice uh, its uh, web but uh, the result was quite uh, good and quite uh, satisfactory. And here on the microscope slide, you can see many, many of these uh, threads, the sticky threads that make up uh, the spider's web. They're quite fine. And uh, under the microscope, uh, they showed quite something interesting and that basically they have, some of them at least, they have those circular round beads on them. Well, these are, seem to be glue droplets. Um, other threads do not have that. Um, and uh, apparently they are not sticky. So you can actually see that there are different types of threads that uh, perform a different function in the spider's web. Here, for example, you see several of them glued together, but they do not seem to be sticky because they are missing those uh, circular glue droplets. Here again, the glue droplets are a little bit larger. And you can also see that some of the glue has actually spilled onto the microscope slides, making the glue droplets uh, appear like having a halo. The slide, I have to admit, has not been cleaned either. There's a lot of dirt on here as well. Here, a little bit in more close-up, a place where different threads are uh, glued together. And you can see that some of the glue has also spilled on the microscope slide. So there are these streaks here, especially well visible on the right side. The glue has been actually uh, pulled away uh, from uh, the microscope slide. Here, slightly in bigger close-up and yet again. And those uh, threads, they are quite, uh, quite strong. Uh, as a matter of fact, compared to the thickness, they're even stronger than steel. And here again, the halo is quite well visible. Of course, not a halo, but that's glued that has diffused um, across uh, the microscope slide. Well, one of the things uh, that I found quite interesting is, is that there were two different uh, types of uh, spider silk. Uh, some of them contained little uh, beads uh, on top of them. These were the sticky, that's the sticky glue, and other um, uh, other spider silk did not contain them. And I did a little bit of research and then I discovered that uh, some spiders make up to seven uh, different types of silk. I think it's quite fascinating. So now let's uh, determine the thickness uh, of uh, the spider's silk. And in order to do that, uh, I used a so-called a micrometer slide. And the micrometer slide is, uh, has a very small uh, engravings in them. And in this case, uh, the distance between two lines is 0.01 millimeters. And uh, I took a picture of uh, the micrometer slide and then of course also of uh, the spider's silk. And then on the monitor, I was actually could uh, measure out using a ruler the thickness of both. And then with a little bit of math, I could determine the thickness of one of these strings. So this is now the micrometer slide uh, using the four times magnifying uh, objective and uh, the 10 times magnifying objective 20 times. And this will be now the magnification that I'll be now using. Here I'm using a ruler to measure out the thickness of the spider's, uh, spider's uh, thread, which is around between three and four millimeters across, a little bit difficult to measure out, um, but I would just like to approximate it. And the distance between uh, two of these lines is around between seven and eight millimeters. So a spider's thread is about half of the distance. So this means around five micrometers across this is about half of the diameter of a cell. 
kind of difficult to imagine this a small size. So on the left side, I now included my hair. Okay, so I have black hair and also a white hair. I'm already getting a little bit older. Um, and on the right side, I have the thread of the spider's web. And so you can actually see the difference in thickness is quite remarkable. And I think this gives a very good comparison um, of the different dimensions. Okay. That's it again. I hope it was again interesting for you. Wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you again next time. Bye bye.